Children can normally be heard playing at Bethpage Community Park, but it was eerily quiet there last Thursday. The town of Oyster Bay closed the park after receiving a tip that chemical drums might be buried at the one-time hazardous waste site. The town wants the State Department of Environmental Conservation to investigate and declare the park safe before children are allowed back. In the 1940s and 50s, Grumman and the Navy dumped chemicals in sumps and leaching pools around central Bethpage. Those toxins have crept toward Wontaw and Seaford in massive underground plumes ever since. On April 21st, the day before Earth Day, a group of Merrick activists came to Bethpage Community Park to send a message to the DEC. The state needs to intervene and clean up the mess. Now, not later. They believe the plumes threaten to contaminate drinking water and the fragile western bays. This plume has been traveling south for 70 years. It's not been contained and it's actually already closed down some of our wells. It is the biggest threat that we have to our sole source aquifer here in Long Island. That sole source aquifer, the Magathy, provides drinking water for all of Nassau and Suffolk County. The baseball field at Bethpage Community Park was once a popular local hangout. Now it's abandoned, overgrown, full of weeds. Hazardous chemicals were found in the soil there, so no one's allowed at the site anymore. Merrick activists say that Long Island South Shore could very well have an even bigger disaster on its hands if the state doesn't act quickly to clean up the plume. We want the DEC to step in immediately to avoid a Flint, Michigan type of water pollution disaster. An estimated $200 million has already been spent cleaning up the mess, and experts say it could take another $100 million to $300 million to finish the job. Meanwhile, the Bethpage Water District has dug a well north of the plume to protect the local water supply, according to State Senator Kemp Hadden. The activists say you can't put a price on safe drinking water or Long Islanders' health. Reporting from Bethpage, I'm Scott Britton for Herald Community Newspapers.